Now that you've got your uh, tower garden set up, now it is time to get your seeds ready. So there's just a couple of different steps that you're gonna to need to do. Obviously with the tower garden, you won't be dealing with any soil, no dirt. It's only gonna be water. This is an aeroponic system where the roots and everything are aerated by, with water and with air. So you have, when you get your system, you're gonna have something this like this, and this is called rock wool. Rock wool is basically minerals or rocks that they have fired up to, I wanna say it's 3000 degrees, and they've spun it, and they, this is just basically spun rock, and they shaped it into a mold. So you're gonna get some of these here, and I'll show you. They'll come in a case like this and for the system that I have I have let's see one two three four five I have I can do 20 plants in what I have so you don't want to use these dry you're going to want to put these in some filtered water and I use some water from I have a Berkey system so I you just want to put these in here and just let them sit and they're going to soak up the water, but let them sit for about 30 minutes. And we'll come back and I'll show you because these holes right here, this is where you're going to actually put your seeds in. They've already got holes pre-made for you. Okay, while the rock wool is soaking, this is going to be your grow medium. This is what your plants are going to actually grow in. And let me just, while this is soaking, as the plants begin to grow, you'll begin to see the roots that will come out the bottom. And that's what we're gonna put in the holes in the tower garden. But while we're waiting for that, so we're gonna let that soak for 30 minutes. While we're waiting, I just wanna show you a couple of things I'm gonna be doing inside. Um, I've got some arugula and spinach, some regular lettuce, some dandelion. I wanna try broccoli and Brussels sprout. I've never tried any of those before. So I'm gonna give those a try. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to have on hand is some vermiculite. And vermiculite is just going to be able to help your seeds and your plants uh, retain moisture. Also, once, uh, once we plant the seeds, you're gonna to wanna to have uh, this is just like an older, let me show you, like an older grow kind of a tray that I had that I used to grow seeds in in the house. If you don't have something like this, it's not a big deal. You could put it in like a, a Pyrex dish, anything that's going to be able to hold, you know, hold your plants in. And then later on in the video, I will show you the lights that I purchased, the grow lights that's going to help these to grow. So the cool thing with the tower garden is that it uses 98% less water. It takes up way less space. So with the tower garden, you only need to have a space of three feet by three feet square feet. Um, and as far as my seeds, I get these seeds from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. I've been really pleased with their, uh, with their seeds. They're really good. You should check out their catalog. They have so much to be able to grow that you can't find in the stores. So once this is done soaking up, 30 minutes, we'll come back and then we'll plant the seeds and we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. 